All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another live New York session. Uh, it is May 29, 2023, and it's on a Monday. Before we actually get started in the market, let's check the news to see if there's any news, and we don't have any news today. Uh, we have some major news at 10 o'clock tomorrow, but we're in the clear today, so that's good. So, as usual, we're going to be trading on gold, and we're going to be implementing the GSA strategy. So to get started, we're going to turn on the cheat code indicator. And um, as we can see, um, let me turn this off. On the one hour time frame, uh, price is not sticking out of the Bollinger Band on either side and there's no cheat code signal. So we wouldn't trade this in the one hour. So we were going to do the intraday trade or day trade we would actually wait and sit on our hands because we want to trade extremes in the market. So with that being said, let's go ahead and figure out what is the overall trend. So let me turn this off here. So uh, we see that multiple lows, previous lows, uh, have been broken. See that here. Uh, you can kind of see that here, even here. The price broke this low, pulled back and then went lower. Here, 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 and so on and so forth. So we're going to take our trend line and draw that. That's all we're going to do at this point on the one hour time frame. So we're going to go to the 15 minute time frame. Now we're going to figure out what is the current trend. So when we look at the current trend, um, we can actually see that multiple highs have been broken. And this high did break this high. So more than likely, price is probably. Uh, bullish at this point. So we're going to draw a trend line here. So we're going to erase this trend line because we're going to be focusing on the current trend. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our trading ranges. So we can see that this last move it started from this swing low here. And it went all the way and then ended at this swing high up here. And then when we look, price wiped out this high here, this previous high, but it pulled back and went up. So this is going to be a break of structure right here. All right. So at this point, I would say that we are currently in a bullish trading range. Okay. So that's what we're going to put. So you're going to label these trading ranges. This is going to be our swing low, our swing high, and our break this junction. Now we're going to take our Fibonacci, and since we're in a bullish trading range, we're going to swing from the most recent low to the most recent high. And as we can see previously, price did reject the 50% and pushed up to this bullish move. So it would be under, it's understandable that price might pull back to the 38, the 2360 or the 38, somewhere around there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw my zone from the, uh, the 3820 all the way down to 6180 because I am counting on price to be a counter trend sell to retest anywhere in this area and then go up. So this area here, is going to be considered our buy zone. That's what we're going to put. 
Now we're gonna turn on our cheap code indicator here. And I see that price is probably going to start sticking out of the Bollinger Band, which lets me know that price is probably going to do a huge counter trend sell somewhere down in this area. And then buy on that. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, depending on what price is at and the amount that the candle hits. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the 9.15 uh, candle to close, which will close in over eight minutes. And then we'll decide uh, which way we're going to trade. So that way, when the 930 candle uh, closes, we can strictly focus on price action and wait to actually get in at the right time. So we have uh, a little bit over eight minutes. So be right back. All right, so it's 917 uh, and the candle closed. So I see that the Bollinger Band stepped out a little bit here. Um, but I'm willing to bet that price is probably going to do a counter trend sell, maybe down to this point, and then maybe buy that. Um, so I might catch this counter trend sell all the way down to the bulge again and then push it up. But ultimately, I'm going to go for the buy because we're overall bullish. So I'm probably going to put my buy down in here. And if price comes down anywhere in this area, I'm looking to get at least this much involved with TP1. The TP1. I'm doing 380 plus points. I'm going to be looking at when ultimately get this uh, thinking about all the way up to this high. That's what I'm thinking at this point. Um, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my alerts. Maybe I'll wait for the 930 and then be right back. All right, so the alerts have been set. Now, if this HMA curves over by the next candle, then it's probably going to sell a little bit down to here. Maybe stick out with Bollinger Day and bring by it. So we'll have to really determine uh, what price, I mean, we have an idea of what price is going to go, but we'll have to determine after the amount that the candle closes when the right time to get in that entry is according to what price is doing when it comes to price action. So we have less than eight minutes, or a little bit, over, a little bit less than eight minutes before the 930 candle closes. So we're just going to sit on our hands and wait, and then 829, uh, I'm probably going to put in my stop loss and take profit for the buy. However, if we if get any indication that it's going to sell further down to this point, then we might just go for the sell. So we'll see. Be right back. All right. So it's 829. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the stop loss and take profit. Um, I'm going to put it in for the buy. So we get an indication that price is going to sell, then we're just going to sell it with the counter trend sell and then move on from there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got about 15 seconds before the 930 camera closes. So we're going to strictly focus on price action here. See what price decides to do.
but you see the HMA is curving over. So we're going to wait. Let me do this. It's actually a lot closer. There you go. That way you can get more of an idea of what price is going to be. It's going to be a time to sell. I see. And the price could have come down to this structure here. We tested it and we'd be ready to push up to. But we know for sure that we overall bullish. That I know for sure. And we'll be able to net it by ready to sell. We got the bolt of band down here. Give me my hands and wait. Put you 
wait for the next candle unless this candle starts moving. This is still fidgeting in the ground. No. Go ahead and take the buy. Uh, we'll see if we're correct on this analysis. See if I was correct. Might be seven. I'll probably jump out. Probably going to jump out and jump back in. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So let me just wait a minute. I'll wait for the next candle.
Don't think it's uh, So that's my do is kind of from South Falls to you. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 120 seconds. Only it drops. 47 dollar profit. That can deal with that. So the first partial trade. So made fifty four dollars and twenty cents per year. Yeah, it sold first. So let's see. It went down. Here, we're down here. Uh, over 250 points, but it's going to go all the way down at least to the zone, and then it's going to bottom up. Like I mentioned before, it's probably going to be a counter trend sell and then go up. It might even be rejecting this area and pushing up to next year. So let me document my results and then I'll share them with you. All right, so I document my results. So this is my live account within DFX. And I'll lose my. There you go. So this is my live account with VFX. And so I jumped in the buy too quickly, but I jumped out. So $43 loss. Got into the sale. $100 profit on the first partial trade and six on the second. So I netted me $54.20. So that's good. Um, so yeah. So when you look here, that's a big drop. Now it's probably going to buy up somewhere in this area. Maybe like down here and buy it as well as well British. So we got ourselves a decent, decent sell in that, so we did good on this uh, session. Um, so we'll wrap it up and continue this tomorrow. So see you guys later, and uh, take care. Bye.